for an outer thigh shot or vastus lateralis shot as far as intramuscular. First we mark the spot and, and that's just for you getting to know where you're going. And as you get better at this, I don't think you'll have to mark it. I want to try to avoid some big veins. These are not big veins. So these are all superficial varicose veins. Then you can use the same swab to clean the top of the vial. Theoretically, this should be cleaned already because there was a cap to it, but always nicer to have it in a clean, sterile fashion. So we do the same thing as before. This is our needle that comes with a pack. You want to make sure that it has got air in it and there's no obstruction to the needle. I put the cap on the side. That rubber stamp has a hole or at least a circle in it and with raised edges, that's where the needle is going to go into. So I turn it this way just to enter the needle into the vial. And before I just pulled, sometimes you can pull and inject a little air. So there's some pressure that comes out. As I mentioned last time, you noticed the nurse pushed in air first. She did, yeah. And that makes sense, but I did that once and I got... I put in so much air that the top popped off and I got splashed with red stuff because these vials are so tiny. It looks like as I pull the needle almost all the way out, I'm catching as much of the fluid as possible. I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, we have everything. Watch the needle. Don't stick yourself. Put the vial off to the side. Make sure all the fluid is down. Tapping the fluid down will drop all droplets then we will have to waste a little bit to make sure we get all the air out. So I'm pushing the plunger up and you'll probably see a little bit come out the tip of the needle. It's okay, we're not wasting it, but it gets all the air out. Injecting a tiny bit of air into the muscle is not painful, but it leaves a big bump. So we know where we're going. And as far as getting into the muscle, it has to be straight down and perpendicular. What I mentioned to Mrs. D is that if we wanted to, we could actually freeze this with ice. Just have to be careful about frostbite. And it cools the skin down so you don't feel even the needle. But after the ice, you mark the spot. After you mark the spot, then you clean. So it's still the same thing. But by the time you do all this stuff, the cooling effect might be gone. Okay, slow deep breaths, okay? Sorry. Aspirate a little bit just to make sure we're not in the vein. And then allow... B12 to enter into the muscle. And then we're good. Out. Now I didn't do the Zeepsty again, but in a lot of cases, when you're putting the needle in, if you pull the skin this way, then you put the needle in, and as you take the needle out, you let go, it allows the skin to tamp a knot off. That's the Z tracking. That was more painful than the arm. Mrs. D said that this is more painful than the arm. Well, duly noted, it is an option because it's an easier access for Mrs. D compared to reaching over and doing your own shoulder. Easier, but if it's more sensitized, then definitely you want to put the ice back on. So what I would do in the future uh, when you try it on your own, Ziploc full of ice cubes to the thigh while you're prepping everything else. And then when you, everything else is ready and your alcohol swab is ready, Take the ice pack off, wipe off all the water, mark your spot, clean the area you're going to inject, and then go for it. Okay. If you're going to do this Z tracking, Z line tracking, you pull, inject, and has you before you pull out, you let go. Sometimes you will see a little bit of oil come through. Uh, that's the beauty of the Z tracking is you're using this, the elasticity of the skin to uh, counter and cover up the mm. hole. If you do it, try it on your own next week over here. Okay. That the ice pack will abate Without. the apprehension. Yep. But if you still notice that it's more sensitized down here, then you'll have to do the shoulder. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. D. Thank you.